You guys all saw how good the 10 millimeter Glock worked out here in Call of the Wild, but now we're gonna take it out for something a little bit bigger. All right, we just got eyes on a really good bull coming through here. It's a big old four, and I think that's gonna be him right there. You can see him just peeking over this ridge. We're gonna try and take him down with the 10 millimeter and the red dot sight. If he keeps on coming this way, he'll be about 100 yards out, and I'm pretty comfortable out to about 140, so all he's gotta do is come a little bit further. Unless, did he bed down right there? Oh my God, he did. He's bedded down right there, guys. All right, well, this could be even more cool now because now we're gonna spot and stalk this beautiful bull elk. He's bedded there about 130 yards out from us. And now we're gonna try and get to, well, preferably around 80 yards. We'll go prone, lay on top of this mountain here, looking down and try and take a perfect shot with a 10 millimeter. All right, so there's our bull right there. We're 80 yards out from him. We're definitely in range, but we do not have a shot from this angle. Now, I am really hoping that we happen to have our out color on us, which, yes, we do. Ooh, okay. So now we can try and get this bull to stand up. I'm not exactly sure it's gonna work. Ooh, it definitely, definitely worked. All right, here he comes. He's about 70 yards right there. So now what we're gonna do is just wait for him to turn broadside and give us a shot. Now we could go for that angle there, but I'd rather have a little more of a broadside shot. He's about 60 right there. But we'll let him keep on working his way up this ridge. Ooh, there's another bull coming in back there. Look at that. Two good bulls right out in the front. Two really, really good bulls. Holy, look at all the elk. That bull would be perfect right there if he's the one that we wanted, but that's not the one that we want. What is this one now? There's no way that's a two. Where's the one that we want? There's a two there. All right. I can't tell which bull is our big bull anymore. There's a three, there's a two. It's for surely one of these bulls here. If we crouched up, maybe we could find out which one. Oh, it is that one. All right, so potentially, we just made three vital hits, potentially. I don't know if this 10 millimeter is actually going to take them down or not, but it should. It really should. However, I am not seeing any blood and I'm a little bit concerned about that. <laughs> uh, frankly, a lot concerned about that because there's no way all three of those shots did not get a vital hit. Okay. <laughs> now I'm starting to feel quite a bit better because take a look at this. We got a vital hit right here. Take a look at this. We got another vital hit right here. And we probably got even another vital hit somewhere else as well. Now, it's definitely going to take them quite a bit of time to go down. So we'll kind of wait here for a little bit and then go on over there and track them down. I'm gonna try and attempt to track these guys down without using the tracks, but we'll see how that goes.
so we for surely took a follow-up on that bull right about there and he was definitely running along the edge of this lake bottom down here i would imagine he's probably somewhere around here at this point 300 350 yards should be about as far as they're gonna go and we do happen to have good hunting pressure here so that means we do in fact have actually that might be level three hunting pressure so yeah we should potentially have three bulls down guys we potentially have three bulls down with a 10 millimeter glock pistol all right so we got blood there that's not the one that we're looking for Oh, there's a bull right there. I wonder if we got that bull or not. I guess not. <laughs> He's going to take off. So here's where we took the follow-up. No organs hit, but we already had him hit once. Still got tracks. Boy, it's really, really difficult to find blood here. There's some blood. Just barely a little tiny drop of blood. Dude, that's our bull. How is that bull not down yet? Was there two big fours? There must have been two big fours. There had to have been. Because the bull that we hit, guaranteed, it was a perfect shot. There is absolutely no way we did not get that bull. And we also have... Yeah, no, because I shot at him running this way. So that means that's a different four. There was two fours there. If we messed up one four, I'm fine with that. But for surely we got this four down over here. And we got some more blood. You know, what we probably could just do is run until we find all the bulls down. Because I would say that they're probably going to be very close together. You know, all within maybe like 50 yards apart. There's definitely something here. Yep. There's a bull down right there. All right. Got our first bull down. Something is taken off. I don't know what it is. Couple of cows. And of course, that's our bull. One of them. Oh, there we go, guys. There's our four down right there. All right, cool. So, and then there's our other bull down right here as well. Or maybe that's our big four. That's got to be our big four. Hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah, that's definitely our big four. Okay, sweet. So we got three bulls down right here. Plus we hit another one. All right, here's this bull. This one was actually the smallest one. Got a double lung and spine shot, but it still ran a long, long ways. So now you know they're going to go quite a ways if you hit them with the 10 millimeter, which is kind of to be expected. All right, so here is our big four. And hopefully we only hit them twice. We only had him once, actually, as a matter of fact, and apparently you can't use the 10 millimeter Glock on elk. Look at improper ammo for this animal, which I'm surprised because it would have been a gold 296, but we got a double lung shot at 40 yards out. And again, because our angle was so high up, we ended up hitting the top of the lung and the middle of the opposite lung on the other side. So that was pretty cool. And a great bull down as well. 40 yards out with the 10 millimeter Glock semi-auto pistol. Then we got another bull down right over here. And then we hit one more that ran over that way, which we'll track him in a second. All right, here's this bull. Ended up getting shoulder and left lung 47 yards out. So that basically means all three bulls that we shot were perfect vital hits. All three lung shots at 50 yards out, super, super quick. So that was awesome. All right, if this bull jumps up, we're gonna take a shot. I wonder how many elk we actually shot. We got more blood over here, 50%, 25%. All right, so if we're at 0%, then our bull should be piled up right around here somewhere. But I am not seeing him at this point. 
Well, as you can imagine, this pole was not easy to find, so we had to turn the tracks back on, but we did find him down. And boy, is he quite impressive as well. I honestly don't think we saw this bull. Either that or there was two bulls that were the exact same size and that's why I got confused and couldn't tell which one to take in the beginning. But this is probably gonna be another one of those like 280 plus bulls. Let's find out how big it is. Yup, it is 296.5. And looks like our first shot was only the one that he was running. So I never actually saw him while he was standing there. Then we took a couple of shots when he was running away, got some back hind quarter, but that intestine hit did eventually bring him down running at 140 yards. I'm actually quite impressed with that penetration. 140 yards to get intestine with a 10 millimeter pistol on a big bull like that, that's gonna weigh 950 plus pounds. That's pretty promising. Oh boy. We got a black bear coming. He's right on top of us. I haven't been able to spot him yet. But he is right on top of us. We also happen to have a whole entire herd of elk here as well, which is not going to help us out much in trying to get a shot on this black bear. There he is. Ooh, it's a nice six. It's a nice six. He's coming right at us. He's coming right at us. Boy, that's going to be a tough shot. He's coming directly at us. I'm going to throw a two into him really quick. It's our only hope. Got him! <laughs> I know I said I'm only gonna throw two into him, but uh, he kept running, so we had to keep shooting, you know what I mean? <laughs> we did get him down. And yeah, I kind of figured that. We can't actually use this 10 millimeter on the black bear anyways, so it didn't really make much difference. But hey, our first shot actually was perfect. Our first shot was so perfect. I ended up getting a double lung shot with that first shot. But look at only 33%. So he would have ran a long ways with that first shot. Then we got a spine uh, shoulder blade shot as well, which didn't do hardly anything. But then we got a lower neck and middle neck shot. And that pretty much ended him right there at 12 yards away. Pretty solid one. 19.22 as well. All right, guys. Take a look at this. We got a beautiful bull moose out here. He's actually kind of dark color, but I don't think he's melanistic. Um, but he is a guaranteed gold and he's got a really good rack on him. He's about 180 yards out right there. So it's a little ways out there and that is going to be one heck of a tough shot. So I'm going to have to go prone and try and get a little closer. All right, guys, we're approaching less than 50 yards out from this beautiful bull moose right here. But again, this small one is still blocking our shot. Now, I'd like to be able to take him down with only vital hits. Ah. Uh, dude! He just disappeared into the water. He's gone. Like, how... Did you just see that? He ran into the water. And he never came back out. That was it. Look, there's a small bull. There's another cow. There should be a big bull with this herd, but he didn't come out because he ran into the water. And that was the last place we saw him. We got blood right here. So again, let's go for a shot on this bull at 160. If we can pump a couple into him. We might have a chance at getting that bull. No! Oh my god, I think we got him. We shot, what, five times into that bull? Got blood going up through here. That's where I last marked him, right here. See, there's blood right here. I was just a little bit off to the right side. I marked 20 yards too much to the east side we need to go west over here dude we literally ran right past him oh there he is right there look at that look at that i told you we didn't need tracks to find him it's just the fact that he 
he went down right in this thick brush here, kind of right in the shade, and so we couldn't see him very good. But anyways, let's pick him up. Got him in the vertebrae the first shot. All right, so our shot was a little high going right for the spine. But the second shot, we got him in the neck at 146 yards, and that took him down. Neck shot. 215.7. And he weighed 1,216 pounds. So you're telling me one 10 millimeter with two bullets can take down this big of a bull in less than 250 yards. That is quite impressive. And that is also why I absolutely love this 10 millimeter Glock in Call of the Wild. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Uh-oh. That would not have been good. All right, let's get some victory shots here for that moose, shall we?